Ah, my man is back. Time now to bet on it, where we talk with our betting insider, Joe Fortenbar from Las Vegas, and he tries to convince me to bet with him. Last week, I agreed with Joe on both picks. We won with Kansas City beating up on Buffalo, but then we got knocked out when Dustin Poirier destroyed Conor McGregor on Fight Island. Of course, we're talking Super Bowl today. Lots of great prop bets to consider. Joe, let's get it started with the GOAT, Tom Brady. You want me to bet on Brady rushing yards? Tom Brady over half a yard rushing. Joe, what is this about, man? What is this about? It's just half a yard. No need to lose your mind over this one. We need one yard for the win. Now, Brady is averaging three rushing yards per Super Bowl appearance. That's a fun fact, but it's not going to help us predict the future. What is is the fact that Brady excels in third and one and fourth and one situations, rushing his offense to the line of scrimmage, catching the defense out of position. It's the final mm-hmm. game of the year. It's for his legacy. I see him getting that one yard. I also believe Kansas City is more likely to win this game than Tampa Bay, which means Brady won't be kneeling the ball at the end of the game, which could cost him yardage. We're going over half a rushing yard, Tom Brady. Oh, quick question. When Tom Brady rushed for about three yards in previous Super Bowls, Joe Fortenbaugh, was he 43 years of age, yes or no? He was not. Uh, number two, are you aware of the fact, Joe Fortenbaugh, that Tom Brady has rushed the football about 36 times this year? Do you know how many yards he's rushed for this year? Six yards, Joe Fortenbaugh. You still want to stay with that? You st- Do I need to change your mind? How about that? So it sounds like somebody's done their research. Well, let me ask you a question. How many times do you need Tom Brady sneaking the ball against the Atlanta Falcons and Carolina Panthers? He has a great defense and a great supporting cast to help him get the job done in those games. But Stephen A, this is the Kansas City Chiefs, the defending champs. All hands on deck. He's going to need to sneak at least one time, and he's not going to be kneeling it down at the end. Come on. You know you want to bet that yard. You love Tom Brady. I'm not doing it. I'm not blowing it. I'm not even betting Tom Brady on a half a yard. I'm going to leave you on your own with that one, Joe. I disagree (laughs) with you on this one. Next up, we're actually going to talk about a quarterback actually throwing the football. You like Patrick Mahomes over 40 and a half attempts. That seems like a lot of passes, Joe. Don't be scared. It's just 40 and a half passing attempts. And Patrick Mahomes is actually averaging 39 passing attempts per game on the season. So this isn't exactly asking him to do a whole lot above the average. He threw the ball 49 times against the Buccaneers in that Week 12 matchup, despite the fact that the Chiefs had a 20 to 7 lead at halftime. So they weren't throttling back. They were throwing the entire time. Why? Because Tampa Bay has a very good rush defense. Number one in the NFL when it comes to opponent yards per carry. They're limiting opponents to less than four yards per rushing attempt. Whether he's leading or trailing Mahomes, the $500 million man, is going to be throwing. We're playing over 40 and a half passing attempts here. A couple of things that make swindle you. First of all, number one, it was 39.2 attempts. Since I do my research, I'm being exact here. <laughs> That's how much they average, Joe. That's number one. And number two, Joe, even though you're right about how you know they can they Tampa Bay defends the run here's the thing you might not have taken into consideration if Tom Brady is effective moving the chains it might not be that many opportunities to throw the football if this offense is successful in keeping Patrick Mahomes off the field did you ever consider that job I did. He was successful moving the ball against Green Bay last week, and Aaron Rodgers threw the ball almost 50 times. He was successful moving the ball against Washington in the opening round of the playoffs. Taylor Heineke threw the ball almost 50 times. And Drew Brees, despite the dead arm, threw the ball 35 times against this Tampa defense as well. Very confident Mahomes is going to be doing the same thing. I'm not siding with you on this one either, Joey. You know why? Because the last time I checked when Tyreek Hill went against these brothers in the first quarter, in the first quarter he had a 207 yards and two touchdowns and seven receptions. I think he's going to run rough shot over them and ain't going to need to throw the ball that much, Joe. Finally, you like the Bucks to start fast next Sunday. You want me to bet on that? You want me to bet on the Bucks in a fast start? I want you to remember, or I should say forget about the old adage, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. For this bet, it's all about how you start. When it comes to the Kansas City Chiefs, they are notoriously slow starters in the playoffs. They have been outscored 53-20 to in the first quarter of their last six playoff games. 53-20, to that's not even close. Of those six playoff games, they have been outscored in the first quarter four, count them four times. And they've gone on to win five of those six games, but they start slow. Remember something, Tampa has been a fast start. 7-0 lead against Green Bay, 
9-0 lead against Washington. They did trail New Orleans 6-0 in the divisional round, but the defense showed up big in the red zone to hold them to only six points. So I like the defense to show up big again here. Uh, you're only asking me to bet on the Bucks a half point in the first quarter. I mean, that's not that big of a stretch. I mean, I mean, you're really going out on a limb there, Joe. You're really going out there on a limb. I, I, I guess I could side with you on this one. Is that cool? I guess I could side with you on this one. You are going to be around other people of high regard when you are watching this game. You are going to want to be entertaining, talking, flashing that famous Stephen A. personality. You're not going to be focused on all four quarters. That's why I got you this quick bet. So you can get in, you can get out. My man, at least you're making me some money in the Super Bowl week because the first two, I wasn't sure about you. I wasn't sure about you at all. We'll talk about the spread and the total next week. You can get more with Joe Weekdays on Daily Wage on ESPN2 and on Bet three days a week on the ESPN app, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Joe Fortenball, always appreciate you on the show, buddy. Always appreciate you.